Good morning to my subscribers and today we're going to be taking a trip to the gun shop yes and i'm going to be taking the gopro and we're going to be taking the poop shoot 2000 so let's crack on i'm going to be going to patrol base in huddersfield which is an airsoft and milsim shop which is actually run by a good friend of mine who i used to work for 20 odd years ago so as I work for myself, and I've got nothing in at the minute for a couple of days, I thought, you know what, might be interesting, something a little bit different, we'll go down and have a look at some of these replica weapons, as that's the sort of stuff that we're into, and see if we can have a look at a nice juicy M4 rigged up. So anyway, let's crack on, head over to Udders, that's Huddersfield for you lot, Udders for us Yorkshire lot, and we'll head on down into patrol base, and we'll have a little sniff around. I might even take the Poop Shoot 2000, and see if he can rig something up for us. Let's crack on! So here we are at patrol base. So let's go in and have a look at the man's cave. Lots of goodies, weapons in here and all sorts. I love it in here. As I said, he's one of my mates who runs it. And I'll put the link in the description in the box below. Let's get in there. So here we are at patrol base. And if you're into your gun porn, or you just love guns as much as probably the majority of my subscribers do this is just going to be an absolute man cave just walking in here and just going oh look at mp5 oh look at scar h oh look at mp4 oh look at l96 oh look at m1 grand it, it, literally if you've ever wanted the ability to actually own these weapons you can do it with airsoft of course you do need a license and that's i'm not going to go into that but it's not a hugely complicated issue to actually get a lot of these weapons in your mitts of course you can only use these at an actual registered airsoft uh, site otherwise you're likely to get the armed response team out and you will get well you'll get your head blown off let's put it that way because the majority of these weapons are exact one-to-one -one replicas including the same weight and everything you cannot distinguish these from the real weapons and that's what I absolutely love about airsoft now for me personally I love the m4s and patrol base have got so many variants of the m4 it is staggering foregrip sights lasers lights ACOGs red dot it bipods I mean there's literally anything in the real military world there's even two or three launchers in here which fire the pellets as well you can get it here it's this is not an advertise advertising video for patrol base yes one of my friends owns it and runs it but it's just i think it's just such a brilliant thing and for me i've already got i own a tokyo marui pistol and i'm actually going to start collecting these weapons not so much to be using them in airsoft but to actually start collecting them it's it's difficult to say until you've actually picked one up and felt how it feels absolutely brilliant and if you're into all your mil sim and your military stuff a lot of people i'm told do actually start buying these weapons just to collect them you know in gun cases or are racking them in their um, you know in the man cave at home putting them on gun mounts it's just such a cool thing to start collecting and the prices really i mean they start off you can get them for about 50 quid all the way up to 600 and they've got an absolutely beautiful stunning scar h in one of these boxes down here which is rather expensive it's over 600 pounds but like you were saying people who buy that are not going to take it out of that case it will be displayed in that case as just a piece of artwork they really are absolutely stunningly beautiful and as i said if you're into world war ii you can get the grand the bar if you like uh support weapons you can get the saw you can get the uh, uh pnk is it you can get literally if it exists in the real world, you can get an airsoft variant. It's been a while since I actually fired this rifle up at Catterick. Memories coming back slightly. And I seem to remember this weapon being an absolute beast on the ranges. A lot of people give this weapon a, a hard time. I don't know why. At the end of the day, you pull the trigger, the other end, it dies if you hit it. So, yeah. Tabbing. Rem memories of Tabbing coming back at Catterick and throwing up white goo all over the place and feeling like I'm on another planet. Fucking 
terrible, but also utterly fucking amazing. Anyway, let's move on and have a look at some more weapons and possibly we'll get to try this on the range. Now, as many of you will be aware, there are different types of these airsoft weapons. You have a gas blowback, which is done by gas either cylinders or you actually fill up the cartridge underneath. You've also got springs, which is really used, I think, mainly for the sniper rifles, the L96 and that sort of thing. And then you also have a electric weapons, which don't give the cocky handle. It doesn't feel like you're actually firing. It's more like a whoop, whoop, whoop noise, which... You know, each to their own. I do prefer the gas blowback, especially, and the same with the pistol as well, because it actually bangs back and you feel like you're actually firing a real weapon with recoil. So let's jump in, we'll fire a couple of assault rifles, and we'll also have a go on a sniper rifle. Everything you want, let's lock and load. So what is this again? Just remind me, what is this weapon? Uh, so originally it's an M4, but it's got lots of Gucci parts on it. So really it's not a stock M4 anymore, but it's by VFC. So right. we just say it's a VFC M4. Good start. I don't need to lock it back, do I? Nope. Right. Safety off. Is that sighted in? Uh, no, I've been using my left eye. That or you've got the doctor sight on top of the sight. Because that is way off. Yeah, 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 that's what <laughs> I was saying. Probably a six or seven inch up and right, so if I am down there. Come on. I don't want to hit you. Is that close to you? No. No, you're fine. Don't worry about me, I've been shot before. Yeah. It's not, you quite accurate once you know where you need to be aiming again. Yeah, we're out. Cool. Okay, so what we got next? Uh, so this is a WE L85. Uh, it's a little bit different from the other one. This one's operated by gas. Uh, so the mechanism all functions every time you pull the trigger. Uh, this cycles back, loads another round into the chamber. So uh, it gives you a little bit of recoil as well. back and forward assist. We still need to do that on this. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Right. Safety's off. That feels so much nicer than that feels so much nicer than um, than the electric. Yeah the gas is just makes such a difference. Absolutely. Like yeah, that's why they're quite decent out of the box because you get a lot of power. Oh, I may have left you with. Uh, yes, that that I think like I've box. left you with no rounds. No. How do you like it up the uh, crosshair inside it? I can't that would be on um, that one there. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Chewing. You can see. You can see where the cross is. Oh, it's better to do it that way. Like it. Nice. It's a good out of the box option for sniping. Yeah, it, it feels really nice. Definitely. Uh, this is spring, is it? Absolutely. Yeah. So it is why the bolt's so hard to pull. A gas one would be uh, have a much lighter bolt. Yeah. It'd be um, even lighter than the real thing. 
yeah nice boom, boom. so there we go guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's just been something a little bit different trying to add some interesting content to the site and see if i can get the subscriber base up trying to grow the channel a little bit more so if you've got any suggestions on anything i can look at go and have a look at try do anything i may actually start to do some more videos on my airsoft journey because i used to do competitive shooting both clay pigeon outdoors 2-2 bullets triathlons biathlons you name it i used to do a lot when i was younger when i'm talking like i'm an old man 43 past it Bags under my eyes like a bloody panda, but do you know what? It's all in your head. That's been my little visit up to patrol base, the base in Udders, or Huddersfield. And if you're into your military stuff, you want to get into airsoft, or you just want to start collecting weapons like I do, and getting your gun cases, pistols, rifles, they've even got RPGs, <laughs> two or three launchers, grenades, all this sort of stuff. And they do do outdoor stuff occasionally, so I may even take the GoPro up to the next one outdoors. And you can laugh at my utter noobishness as I roll around thinking I'm John Rambo with my Tokyo Marui pistol. And I might even see if Sai will throw me in a shotgun to play with on the day and do some scenario combat work, as it's all relevant. Regarding the Poop Shoot 2000, well, you'll just have to keep watching and see what happens in the future. Thanks for watching, I've been Paraplays, and I shall see you in a new video coming real soon. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that bollocks. Bye bye!